Okay, as I suspected, the AVR was the problem, but before I changed that out, I tested the leads on here to see what the uh, DC output um, going into the rotor brushes was. And it showed about 11 volts. I had a video I started on the Canon, and the battery died on me on that, so I've got to work on a battery pack mod for um, that so I can have an external battery. But anyways, figured I'd bring that out and try using. Um, I also checked the continuity of the, because I noticed the colors were different with this AVR, they're yellow. And this one happens to have a brown and a blue. Um, and then the windings, or the sense, sense windings, uh, I think that's what those are. Um, those both tested with continuity. And I tested the output of the blue and uh, the uh, white and gray, and uh, I don't, I can't remember exactly. I think it was something like 0 0.05 or something really low, and I, I forget what this one was. I want to say it was like four volts. I think, uh, I'll have to see if that uh, shot on video or not. I think the battery died on me. Um, so I swapped it out, and I'll do a little demonstration uh, to see what the performance was with a little kilowatt meter thing. I finally took that out of the package and. Use that here for a change. and maybe some other models do that where they've got the circuit design where they have a feedback. I have to study it. I don't understand how that works yet. But I assume it goes to a linear actuator on the uh, throttle so that you can idle down when there's no load and then it senses when there's a load and then it'll idle up. So uh, it's kind of pushing it. This one I might just leave more stock, add the extra breaker because that's the fad thing. Um, but uh, the other two I'm probably going to be more likely with that larger uh, engine. I think even with this one it would be a good idea to save on fuel and idle down. And also uh, generator wear. So, but we're good to go. So this so is easy fix. Just a $10. Uh, one of these little EVRs on eBay. So...